Hello there everyone. Today's video will be focusing on the native freshwater turtles in Massachusetts. There are 10 freshwater turtle species native to the Bay State, and there are variations amongst all of them, such as size. Some species as adults can exceed 30 pounds in mass, with their carapace length, that is the top part of the shell, reaching nearly 20 inches. Others, let's say, are much smaller, only reaching a few inches in carapace length, and they weigh less than a pound. There is also variation amongst the types of habitats these turtles occupy. Some occur in a variety of forested terrestrial habitats, while others are found in semi-aquatic habitats. Here, the standing water depletes significantly or is completely absent during certain times of the year. These habitats include fertile pools, bogs, fens, freshwater marshes, and upland streams and rivers. Some species occupy aquatic habitats with permanent standing water that is much deeper, such as ponds, lakes, and rivers. Estuaries, or coastal tidal salt marshes, are home to some freshwater turtles who can tolerate these saline conditions. This includes the northern diamondback terrapin, who exclusively lives in these habitat types. Speaking of diamondbacks, I already posted a video on my YouTube channel with some footage of them, and will be planning on making a longer video about their life history and ecology sometime in the near future. So this is the last you'll see of them in this video. I also have another video uploaded to my channel about the aquatic eastern musk turtle, so feel free to check that one out as well. This is the last you'll be seeing of this species in this video. The bog turtle will also not be featured in this video because I've never seen or photographed one yet. They are also by far the rarest turtle and one of the rarest animals in all of Massachusetts. The red-eared slider, on the other hand, is an introduced turtle species to Mass, and several populations occur across the state. These populations were established because many were released by pen owners into freshwater habitats associated with urban areas. The spiny softshell is another turtle species that has established introduced populations in Mass, although they are native to other parts of New England, Biologists are unaware as to how these populations were established here in the Bay State. This yellow-bellied slider I found in southeastern Mass is another classic example of a released pet. While many species of introduced turtles have been found in Massachusetts, only the red-eared slider and the softshell have established breeding populations. Now, without further ado, here is some footage of the remaining seven native turtles.
To learn more about your local turtles, other reptiles, and amphibians, I highly recommend purchasing a reliable field guide that covers your area. Also, your state or province may have a Herp Atlas website where you can learn more about your native herps and view and report your own sightings. If you found this video of any interest, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.